In this lesson, we're going to work with the location service. Currently, we have hard-coded the latitude and longitude in the weather API. But now we want to get the latitude and longitude according to our device. So we'll go to the weather page code behind file. And there we're going to write our code to get the device location. But before this, I want to tell you that at the time of recording this video, Microsoft team has not updated the documentation of Xamarin Essentials plugin. The new name is Mavi Essentials. Everything will be same in Xamarin Essentials and Mavi Essentials plugin. So we'll go to the Google and search for Xamarin Essentials geolocation. All right, let's open this link. Here we have different platforms like Android, iOS, and Windows. I'll show you how to add the permission in Android. So I'll copy these permissions and according to the documentation, we need to add these permissions in the Android manifest file. So we'll go to the platforms, expand the Android and open the Android manifest file. There we'll paste those permissions. Now let's save the file and close it. Similarly in the iOS, we need to add these permissions in the info.plist file. I have told you earlier in the news application that how we can add permissions in the iOS project. So I left this task for you to add these permissions in the iOS project. Okay, now in the code behind file of weather page, let's add an async method of type task and name it get location. Okay, now in this method, we'll use the code to get the location. So according to the documentation, we need to use this await geolocation class and this get location async method to get the location data. So we'll choose await geolocation class and then call the get location async method. Now let's store the result in a variable and we name it location. With this location, we can pick many things, but we just need the latitude and longitude. So we'll use location.latitude and add two fields outside this method of type double and name it latitude and the other field name will be longitude. Now we'll assign this location.latitude to the latitude and location dot longitude to the longitude. Now when the user will run the application, then in the own appearing method, we'll call the get location method. Okay, so let's call this get location method here with the await keyword. Then in the hard coded latitude and longitude values, we'll pass the latitude and longitude, which we'll get from the device location. All right, now before running the application, I want to tell you that if you're using the real device, then you don't need to add anything. Our application will pick your current location. But if you're using the emulator, then the emulator will pick the default location. So we can set the location in the emulator according to our choice. In the emulator, we'll go to these three dots, choose location here, in the search bar, choose the location according to your choice. All right, then set the location. Okay, now let's run this application. And here we go. This time, we'll get the location of our device or emulator. Okay, so far so good. We have covered the location part. Now I'll see you in the next lesson.